what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the tyson fury versus deontay wilder three press conference highlights man the fight is tonight i'm gonna be watching it with the homies at uh dub crib and uh we're gonna uh see if deontay wilder can redeem himself from that second fight man if you guys remember that tyson fury versus deontay wilder too it wasn't even close uh deontay wilder was really getting shown up and you could really see the skills of tyson fury in that previous fight man the fact that another grown man was licking another gr grown man's bloody ear lets you know my man's he was on a whole nother level so we will see what uh transpired during this press conference appreciate all the love and support man road to 60k and uh let's check this out man see what they had to say to each other i know it was, it was pretty intense sleep train repeat um you know i've had a, a few personal problems at home but you know <clears throat> there's always gonna be um some type of problem or hurdle to get over in life do you feel comfortable being away from home yeah yeah i'm 100 percent confident you know the baby's 100% at home. Everyone's good. My man's, this his, his jacket, his suit, crazy. Got the WBC championship all over it, man. Just flexing on my boy. Damn. Family's good, so, you know what? Daddy's just got to do his job now. That's it. Uh, we've been going from day one since the last outing, you know. Uh, there hasn't been no stop. Everything has been good. We, I think we've timed everything out perfectly. I think we've uh, done all the right things, and um, come Saturday night, it's going to be definitely a different fight, you know, for all the, the fans. You know, they should be excited. You know, it's not rare that we get trilogies like this. And I'm not going to lie to you. I am excited for this fight. Uh, I just hope that it it it, it is not as one-sided as it was. Hell, if you want to be honest, the first one was, I wouldn't say it was one-sided, but it was uh, it was more... You could tell uh, Deontay Wilder was facing someone that he had never really faced that really knew what they was doing in the ring. It wasn't for those those knockdowns that Deontay Wilder was able to get that kind of had swayed the judges into the split decision here. But that was in the first fight. So we'll see if this one is a much better bout. Hopefully it is. I have confirmation, clarity of a lot of things. And which, you know, one thing about it, you know, Men lie, women lie, but your eyes don't lie what you see, you know? So many can, people can believe what they want. We're all human. We believe what we want, but the eyes don't lie. He accused me of everything, accused his team, his trainer, the suit, injuries. This is true. He has been coming out accusing him of uh, Tyson Fury, uh, uh, having something within his gloves he he said if you guys remember originally when he came out in that crazy ass costume for the fight he said it was over 100 pounds and he was already tired by the time he got to the ring why in the hell would you wear something like that just come out there and get boxing get ready to go fuck all the flamboyancy shit like fuck all that extra shit so he's he's blaming other things and i didn't like that you lost your pride and ego got hurt because he embarrassed you. Don't start blaming other stuff for your loss. Take that loss like a man. Find a way to come back. Um, who else did he accuse? Oh, the Athletic State Commission of Nevada. They were in it as well. The referee. Um, oh, yeah, he did. He, he, he was a referee. Like, bro, this is just a lot of things. You can't just be doing that because it doesn't come off like a good sport like you're, you're coming off like a sore loser you gotta blame everybody else instead of you know really looking at yourself you got outboxed whoever else maybe if you'd come out with one of these excuses then it would have been believable but not 50 of them come on yeah um, and he can believe what he wants what it tells me is that it's a weak Ooh. mental little person who i'm gonna not spark out on saturday night oh in fact he's even copying me look he's got no t-shirt on today he learned that from me. I'm famous for wearing no shirt in press conferences and having no shirts on. This guy's copying me all the time. And I know it's, it's, I'm an inspiring person and everybody wants to be like T. But you know, it's supposed to be Bronze Bomber. Do your own thing. Stop copying the Gypsy King. I, I don't, I, you know, there's no pressure on me. And then when you have nothing to lose, there's no pressure at all. 
all the pressure. This is true. This is true. Even though I think Deontay, he's he's kind of backed up in the corner. He has to win this fight. If he loses this fight, there's nothing he can say. There's no excuses he could come up with that's going to be believable. This guy beats you twice. What can you say? This guy is just a better boxer than you. So he has a lot to gain in this. And Deontay has to win this, I think, more for himself. Because he knows if he loses this, he probably won't be the same when it comes to people looking at him as a viable champion. Because it's like people will be like, this is the one guy you couldn't beat. Pressure is on him. Is that how you feel if you got nothing to lose in this fight? It's nothing to lose. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. You know, mental health struggle is no joke. You know, it's, um, you can never get over it. It's not if or when, but it, it's not if, but it's definitely when. Mental health will always creep back into your life at some point. And it's a mental health is a real thing. Um, take it seriously. Um, it's one of those things where you don't want to overlook it. People may try to shun you or judge you off of it. No, if you're having some mental issues, talk to someone professionally or talk to someone that you trust and love. Don't let those mental issues build up because those can really be the death of you, literally. So mental health issues, I definitely do agree with him. They do come into your life at some point. You just got to be able to learn how to manage them. Very, very, very dangerous matter. And it's a, it's, it's a global pandemic on its own. Without COVID and all that stuff, the mental health struggle is real. Um, mm -hmm. And if you don't keep it at bay and take the right pr uh, procedures to to handle it, then then you're going to wind up uh, in a very bad position, like Perhaps. I was at one stage in my life. But I've learned to manage and maintain it all now. And look at me, I'm flying. I'm stood here as a heavyweight champion of the world, WBC, Ring Magazine, lineal champion, undefeated in 30-odd fights, still good-looking, <laughs> lost me hair, but whatever. Still a fine specimen of a man and uh, still confident <laughs> as ever. I'm still on top of the world, so life's good. This is going to be an amazing fight on October the 9th. And uh, as you see, I'm wearing my red outfit, so I want it back in blood. I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. And I'll see you guys there. Tyson? All right, he's, he's chill. It seems focused. It, it's crazy that they're both on their phone and stuff like that. That's the times we live in, bro. But he seems focused, seems calm, cool, relaxed. Um, we'll see if he's able to uh, to deliver on that uh, on the fight. You're up. Well, I've got a lot to say, actually. Uh oh. <laughs> um, here's something that I think I need to say. It's like Wilder said that I only won the second fight because I cheated. But then mm. he goes and changes his whole team and does all this extra training and trains as hard as he's ever trained and bring on all his team and all that. So I ask the question is, if I only won because I cheated, what was the point in changing everything and doing all this other work? He makes a good point. If you're going to blame someone for cheating, but you change your entire team, you train your hardest you've ever trained, why change anything? He cheated to win, right? I did everything right. He just cheated. I don't, like I said, it'd be different if it was some blatant cheating going on. But I don't think he cheated. He just got outboxed. That's my only criticism I have for Deontay Wilder. Taking that loss hurt him to the point where he had to come up with excuses. Not a good look for you, my guy. Can anybody answer that question? I know he can't. He doesn't have the brains to. Oh. So, no one can answer that question, can they? So... The fact that I've egg in your face is the word. That's what we say. And here's another one. He says he wants to do bad things to me and hurt me and do all this malice feelings and he's got anger and aggression. Well, for those who hold a hot coal with the intentions of throwing it at somebody, guess what? They're the ones who's going to get burnt. I don't want to hurt Deontay Wilder. I just want to beat him in a fight. And he knows what he's saying is lies. And deep down in his soul, he knows that he lost. And he'll lose again. And he lost the first time. He lost the second time. And he's going to lose the third time. And guess what? After this fight, he'll be back working in that fast food chain that he was working at earlier on in his career. Because that's the only place he's going to be welcome. It's easy to Retirement for him. It's Retirement. Oh, he is 
is talking his shit, Deontay. You got to beat his ass. He said, once I'm done with you, you're going to go back to that fast food. You're retired when I'm done with you. Oh, shit. Woo! Retirement dosser. The, the answer to your question is why you change for the first and second. No, that ain't the answer to the question. That's another question. So that's not an answer. If I only won because I cheated, why do all this extra training? Why you because change, obviously, why you, change the obviously person you can second? beat me why you with the old the training second? you was doing as long as I didn't so cheat. So ask yourself that question. You go ask yourself the question. If I've done all this cheating, I see nervous energy. Yeah, then why has he not prepared himself? Oh, he said, I see nervous energy. He, ooh, I, hey, I'm all for the shit talking. Let's go. He hasn't done any <laughs> extra steps at all <clears throat> to stop me from cheating why again. Why you explain yourself? I'm not explaining myself. I'm asking you, you the question. You haven't denied any what allegations have you done to this point. I don't need to deny it because it's you true. You know what I'm saying? You it's haven't denied true. any I had allegations. I had a turbo jet on me. You don't, even want, you don't even want certain media in here to give you the it. tough question. You have oh, okay. Nice little kicks on his feet. Okay, D uh, Tyson, I see you with the kicks. See with the kids. Nobody to give you the tough questions. And there's nobody in here that can me? ask me a tough question. So when it's like you're in that, denial and you're getting knocked out. Let's make it happen. And you're gonna retire. You, you retire. You don't know nothing about Do knocking no one out. Favor you don't have knocked out power. Your legacy's in bits. Even in, even in my all worst, excuses, even in my worst even all time, you still, you been still hit like a. No one's in. Oh, he said. Oh, you still hit like a hole. Yeah. Hey, man, I don't know. It looked like Tyson's starting to get under Deontay's skin because Deontay had this chill demeanor, and then he started talking his shit, and he's starting to get up under his skin. He's starting to, he's starting to creep in. I like it. I didn't believe you. I didn't feel They're anything. You were wondering like why I kept getting, getting up. Really are. Cause I didn't feel, I didn't feel, feel you. nothing. You have no power. Million You're not excuses. a knockout artist. Well, I am I'm not a you knockout out, artist. Dosser. Uh, nah, I, yeah. I went out on my feet. That's a knockout. I had a disloyal you trainer got to throw the towel Dosser. in. Dosser. And guess what? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I think, because if I'm not mistaken, he did fire his trainer. Because if you guys remember from the second fight, he threw the towel in. And he was mad. He was legitimately pissed. And he fired him. Because he was like, yo, bro. He, he felt like he betrayed him. He was like, Deontay is one of those prideful people. He rather die on his shield than to submit or throw the towel. That's just that's how much pride he has. When not someone towel. throw the towel in after the boss tell him not to do, the employee get fired. Yeah, but you Terminate said I had answer. knuckle dusters on. JD is in the room while I had knuckles on. Why matter? didn't he say something yeah, then? Hey, He's in on it don't too. Don't worry about him. He's in on don't, it. Don't worry about him. I, I handle I'm my team behind like you. I handle my Shelly team. Finkel. He's in you on handle it too. yours like you handle yours. You're a weak man. You get yeah, knocked out. Thank you. End of. Thank you. I'm the only one that defended my title ten times. I, I go don't down need to. I don't need to defend six. titles. How many times That's have for you defended? That's like you. Dosters like you defend them. Cheat. I don't need to. I've never had to cheat in years. I've come here representing you look up WBC your history today. and you look up my You've history, come like a Trump which I advise everyone to yeah, do their homework. Dressed as me on a training day. You look up you and you look up me. I'm a nun in this sport, baby. You ain't nothing. I don't have to cheat. You will only ever be remembered me. I don't have to. I don't have to stick shit up to make me feel the same type of way. What the hell? What boar meat? It's illegal to eat boar meat during the training. I, what's going on, bro? It's sticking stuff up your what? What the hell's happening? That's part of the training in boxing. Got to stick stuff up your ass. What? I don't have to use that certain things. I don't have to uh, manipulate my gloves. I don't you have do. to do those you do. things. You have to do it so all. Night, you have to do it all. So at night because when I look into the mirror, loser, and, and you're being trained the by a loser, so that makes two king, losers. A real champion. And you're going to get knocked you out on me? Saturday night. I don't, no problem. And, and, I don't and, feel you because you're a lying little dosser. And if I don't stub another glove of my life, I'm That's the difference. I have to fight another day in my life. Doesn't matter. I'm good. Because your legacy's already finished. I'm good. All the excuses. I'm good. How, you've been can done. you say the same you've thing? You've been done. Finished. Can you've been you say the same thing? You've been beat. You've been so humiliated. And you've been busted. And let's End get of. Ready. End let's of. Go. And that's it. And there's no one Nervous in here energy. can accept the fact that this little handed to him, not once, but twice, and he can't do nothing about it. Because he ain't. Man enough. I That's why. It. I accept. With, uh, uh, look. Tell him what to say, Shelly. Come on. <laughs> Tell him what to say. It's when fine. I was in the condition I was in, I could have. I couldn't. I could have stopped the fight. I could have went back to the, my corner. But you know what? I'm a king. I'm a warrior. You, I did, you didn't look like a king when you was getting.
accepted, that corner. I accepted what I was going through to still fight you. Yeah, you look like a dosser. You didn't look like a king. It, and you still I look couldn't like knock king, me mate. out. You still you couldn't look like do a it. But guess what? If you look like a dosser and I look like the king. And you was in the situation when I was you was in, in that corner getting your head called 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 You're one trying to JD us. Sorry. Someone Ooh, please come He took everything. He saved your life that night. Don't know. You didn't want to sack him. You wanted to give him a pay rise. Give me one second. Give me one second. Both of you. Give me one second. Give me one second. He needed a pay rise. He saved your life. I don't know how wise this is, but we are going to ask you to face off because we're running out of time on the live show. Tyson. I do the things outside of the ring. Bro, he said, I'm willing to die in this ring. And I believe him. I do, which is a scary thing, but that's how much pride and passion he has for boxing. And to be honest with you, I feel like if you are a boxer, you got to be willing to go to those extreme lengths to prove that you're the best. And you could potentially die from that. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy, man. This is a gladiator type sport. Bro, they're going at it, man. Woo, I like this. Tyson. My family have an understanding. My children have an understanding that daddy has a dangerous job. You know, there's no other sport in this world that have that have t collected as many lives as boxing. Amen so to I that. Understand what I'm going through. And we so, respect both of you for those reasons. Can children. I ask we both do. of you to stand up? Oh, Deontay, will you do us a favor? Can you stand up? We're going to do a, a face off for the final time. We have a huge show coming up for you. Okay. <clears throat> hey, I'm hyped. I'm ready for the fight tonight, man. Hey, uh, this was the, an interesting back and forth. Like I said. Deontay has a lot to prove here. He's backed up against the corner. You know what I'm saying? If he does not win this fight, I don't think, you know, anyone will really be interested to see where he goes next because this is it. You know what I'm saying? You know, not to say that his career will be over, but I do think this will be the thing that people will be like, yo, you couldn't beat this guy no matter how hard you drive. He will always be the one that you know supersedes you when it comes to this boxing stuff and tyson fury he has to also understand i hope he doesn't come in too overconfident he has to also understand if he loses this which this is a possibility if he loses this then it's on him you know what i'm saying i think what comes down to this is the fact that what's really going to be the deciding factor for me i still think tyson fury is the better boxer but I do think Deontay Wilder has a lot more power. And Deontay's going to be going for the knockout. He's going to go for the kill. Hopefully, his training has helped him to be more, you know, have better foot movement. You know, throw some more jabs in there. But he's going to go for the kill. I think the only way Deontay wins this is by knocking him out. I mean, dead ass or stoppage. I think Tyson Fury can play the same game he has been playing. Just being the more technical boxer. I think if it goes to a, a judge decision... I don't think Deontay will win. I'm just being honest. I don't think he'll win. So we will see. Tyson has to win this fight because if he loses this, then it's like, damn, bro. And if he loses this by knockout, then it's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? He got the better of you. He knocked you out finally. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm hyped. Sign me up for this. Comment down below. Let me know who do you guys have winning the third fight? Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder? Why? Let me know why. Are you guys going to watch the fight? Are you guys looking forward to the fight? I would love to get your thoughts and opinions. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Why did I throw up the piece before I said the piece? I don't know.